hope you're having a dope day and thank you for tuning in. This is the first inaugural Sneaker Fantasy Draft Air Max Edition. And I'm Chris Chu and he is Lawrence Hopkins. What's going on? Before we jump into it, please be sure to check out our podcast channels. There is the Sneaker Podcast by TSP and True to Size by Canada Got Soul. So Lawrence, who do we have joining us today? Oh, baby, Chris, here we go. He is the voice behind the Sneaker Dads podcast, proud procurer of all things dope and retro, and is said to know the whereabouts of the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> Our first drafter is none other than John Ratner, a.k.a. Heads Ain't Ready. What's up? What's up? Thanks for having me. Of course, John, you are a proud captain of uh, Team Wear Everything, but is there an Air Max model that you would never wear? Oh, hmm. I have a couple denims I haven't worn, but they're hopefully going to come out for Air Max month. Cool. Have uh, no, not in terms of value or rarity, unless it's going to fall apart. But I do have a couple that I'm hopefully going to break out, or else I'm going to violate my own wear everything. <laughs> yeah, you might have to cancel the podcast if you, you know? decide to not wear them. But we will move on. Next up, she has one of the most diverse Air Max collections in all of Toronto. She is also allegedly the secret six member of the Spice Girls. Say what up to my big sister, Mare, a.k.a. Hardy Girl. Hey, y'all. Mare. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. We know you are an Air Max head, but what percentage of your collection is actually Air Maxes? Ooh. Probably 70%. 70%. That is a high number. And good numbers. It is a good number. The way that you had it ready is our... Also very impressive. Oh, I recently made a list, so of I'm course pretty you familiar did. with my collection. Of course you did. <laughs> and finally, he has a resume longer than a receipt from CVS and probably has worked with your favorite brand's favorite brand. But did you know he also has one of the world's largest collections of dog-shaped coffee mugs? Our final drafter of the night, for my list at least, is the homie Nick Ingvall. <laughs> What up? Thanks for having me. <laughs> of course, Nick. We, we'll, we'll get to the dog-shaped coffee mugs later, but we're going to keep it simple. Are you going history or hype tonight? Uh, I'm, I'm almost always leaning towards history. It would be weird if you weren't on the sneaker history side. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Chris, who do you got for us? Well, this next guest is a talented designer who has sh shown us that your truth is a powerful and affecting work of art. Welcome, Judina, better known as Jewberry to the close friends. Ju, your artistic eye affords you a specific point of view. Will you be picking for best shoe available or weaving a beautiful tapestry of picks that will make, <laughs> make all the sense once the final piece is added? Those were too many words. What's the question? <laughs> What I kind agree. of shoes are it you going to pick? It was too many words. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to go with probably sentimental. 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 I like that. Yeah. Uh, next up, he is my brother from another mother, the hostess with the mostest from the Sneaker Podcast, radio broadcaster official, Ooh. potential dark horse drafter, Mike Ooh. D. You, what up, everyone? Mike, since you work for the brand with the three stripes. Yes, sir. Will you be aiming to disrupt or astound with your sneaker picks? Ooh. I think astound is a great way to put it, my friend. Uh, I'm stepping outside my comfort zone here. I hope to uh, make everyone very, very happy or sad. You know? <laughs> so we'll go. Well, I'm, I'm in very, very, very good company right now. So I'm a bit worried when I jumped on this call. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, now that we've met the participants, how about we go over the rules, Lawrence? Yes, sir. The rules of the draft are simple. We will select the draft order live on this stream and we'll follow that order in a snake fashion after that. You will have 45 seconds to make your pick. And if you fail to make a pick, we will make one for you. You don't want that. Nope. You may not choose any sneaker that was not released to the public. And you may not choose an alternate year for a sneaker that has already been selected, i.e. once Air Max 90 infrared is off the board, it is off the board from every single year. After the draft, we will leave it up to the listeners and watchers to decide who has the best starting 10. Chris, get to the order. Let's get into this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a random pick for the first 
first first selection. As you can see, we have all the names written down on these little bits of paper. Into a Canada Got Soul hat, they go. And the first pick, the first selection for tonight will be done, made by... Sid. John. <laughs> John R. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, second pick, second pick goes to... Jew. I don't know Ooh. if you can see that. There you go. Very nice. Third pick. Hardy, Hardy girl. Then Mike D. Oof. Oh, man. Man, how am I going to follow that? <laughs> <laughs> With the last pick, it will be Nick Engvall. Nick, I think you'll be okay, my friend. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Chris, before we get started with these drafters, would you want to go first? I feel like the pressure of having to choose overall first overall pick is just too great. It's too great, and I feel like the uh, pull between going original classic and super hype, er, very sought after, is going to be too hard. It's just too difficult. There's going to be so many assumptions made about John Ratner right now because if he goes history, <laughs> then everyone's going to say, woo, history. And if he goes hype, everyone's like, boo, hype beast. So no pressure, John, but uh, 45 seconds is now on the clock. What is going to be the first overall draft pick in the first inaugural second sneaker draft Air Max edition? No discussion, history hype. That will come later. History, there'll be time for history all night. Uh, going with the chlorophyll Air Max ones. Oh, oh, baby. Personal favorite. Per Very I don't nice. own them. Very nice. Favorite. I'm definitely going to misspell chlorophyll. <laughs> <laughs> Just put borophyll. <laughs> Just put green. Close enough. <laughs> um, all right, Jew, with the second pick in the inaugural sneaker fantasy draft, Air Max edition, what are we going with? I'm going to go with the grill I will never attain, and it's the Parapata Cherrywood. And Mare is crying. Uh, yeah, there she goes. Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I wasn't following her. <laughs> Mare, I'm going to assume both of those were on your, your list, right? Based on my uh, strategy, yes, they were in my top zone, of course. Top zone. But everybody's. It's I mean, they're probably everybody's. She has zones. All right, Mare, the world is watching. Everyone wants to know, what are you choosing in the first round? I am choosing the Air Max One Atmos Elephant OG. I do like that. Very nice. My favorite shoe. Now, if I make any mistakes in the uh, spelling of the name, feel free to correct me. In terms of Air Max hosts, I am probably one of the poorest choice to, <laughs> to, to be doing this, right? I'm not Air Max literate. Tinker was not available, so you were the next best option. So it's all good. I know who's in the speed dial now. <laughs> all right, Mike D, you can't choose the ZX Aqua. So what are you going to go with instead? You're right. I can't. But I am going to continue the Atmos wave and go with the Atmos Nike from 2003, the Air Max One Biotech. Wow. Great pick. I feel like I can see most people writing down or researching on their laptop, which is it's good. Going to be I like, I like very the hard. Yes. Um, all right, Nick, with the uh, last pick in the first round, what are you going with? All right. I'm going to go with the Kashima Antlers Air Max Ooh. 97. Ooh, wow. Good friend of the show, Alvin, wore those the other day, actually. I saw that. I saw that. Yes, he did. It was, it was a nice reminder for me. Strong pick, strong pick. <laughs> So Nick is just going through Instagram, Air Max Month posts, <laughs> picking, <laughs> picking his pairs. All right. So because you are the last drafter in the first round, <clears throat> you're the first drafter in the second round. Nick, what are you going with to start off the second round here? All right. I'm just going to go classic Air Max 90 infrared. There it is. <clears throat> I'm surprised it took that long. I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. surprised, Chris. What do you think about the first round there, Chris? I feel it was influenced by the first two picks of the draft. Yeah. Once people went big, you kind of had to follow <laughs> suit. Um, just a reminder, picking Air Max 3 Radiant Red is not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> My Thank friend Sean would have something to say about that. 
That's why he's not here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we love Uncle Sean. Yeah, actually, yeah, we actually do love Uncle the Sean. invite. That's why he's not of here. Of course he did. He said, have, my, have your people talk to my people, and we don't have people. So that's where the deliberation ended. But See, anyways. Very, very Sean thing. <laughs> Mike D., what are you going with for your second round pick here? Now, this might make someone very upset and or anyone very upset, but I'm going with the Air Max 90 Cause Black and Volt. Ooh, wow. It's okay. I can just go look at my real pair. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'll Somebody's still cry about salty. not having a pair. Slight wow. flex. <laughs> Slight flex, but lots of salt coming from Mare's screen over there. Mare, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm surprised you didn't show it. Yeah, yeah. for real, right? right? I'm surprised Boom. you didn't have them already. Boom. Like, oh, you mean this one? Oh, you mean this one? This was your first round pick? I can see that happening a lot. <laughs> she got the first two rounds. Yeah, right? Oh. She has everything in the first two rounds. So. No, I don't. I literally only have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Mayor, it's your turn. What's next on your draft list there? The OG Air Max One Red 87s. Great pick. Great pick. Off the board. Jew, no pressure, but you had a really good first round pick. What are you going mm -hmm. with now? I feel like I just started with a huge one and now I'm just trying to figure out my next one. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, very simple, but Still hype. It's a Pata purple denim. Nice pick. pick. So Chris, to answer your question about artistic weaving tapestry, I yeah. think you're right in the tapestry there. She is weaving quite the intricate uh, pick so far. I mean, when I was looking at uh, the potential Jewberry picks, I was like, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be something that we couldn't figure out in our own brains. So, you know, a lot of words make sense. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I know. <laughs> Good words. All right, John, you're the last pick of round two. What are we going with here? It looks like you're writing down your picks there, I think. So what are we going with? Well, I get two in a row, right? So I'm yes, you do. Go with mm -hmm. the Air Max One Blue, sometimes known as Royal. Okay. Um, just to lock that one in, my favorite Air Max, before someone else takes it. And I need one second. On this one, time. you got the full 45 second shot clock there. <laughs> oh, 45 second shot clocks. Two, yeah. We could sit here for a minute and a half, John. <laughs> Neon 95s. Oh. Oh. I, oh, that's a big one off the board. <laughs> Be gone. Back Be gone. to my goodness. Oh that my first gosh. overall pick is paying off for John. He has a great starting three right now. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Laps all around. Nice. All right, Ju, you've had, a, you've had only a little bit of time to, to decide here, but what are you going with in the third round? Um, I'm going to go with the Air Max 98 Gundam. Ooh. Ooh. I like that one. one well played, Jadina. Well Good played. Choice. Gosh, I, I love all the picks so far. I'm just looking at the draft board, like, and I know, Chris, you love that pick as well. I, I actually know all of these sneakers, so we're in a good spot right now. <laughs> We're not into round eight, nine, ten yet. There's no obscurity yet. Just wait. Just wait. Um, all right, Mayor, what's next on your list? I'm going with the Atmos Animal OG, the whites. Ooh. The ones. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> she saw me pause. She saw you. <laughs> not that I <laughs> we might have a full Air Atmos lineup from Mayor when this is all said and done. We're going <laughs> to. Uh, Mike D, you feel intimidated yet? Uh, I, I told you, as soon as I entered this room, I felt intimidated. Um, but uh, with this one, my next pick is going to be the Air Max 95 Mita sneakers. Oh. Mm. Very similar to the neon. Similar. Yeah, I like different. what you did there. <laughs> yes, loophole, I loophole. Yeah, I, loophole. I like the loophole. The Effective loophole. loophole. Loophole is okay. <laughs> All right, Nick, you got two picks in a row here. What's your, what's your choice to end out round three? All right, I'm going to go with the Air Max 90 Huffquakes. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Oh Very nice. Now, the, has this awakened everyone else to the <laughs> Huffquake line? Yeah. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Just that name is... It's a great name. Great yeah. name. And with your first pick in round four, Nick, what are you doing? All right, I think I'm going to go off character and go with the off-white Air Max 97s. Oh, no, 97. 
Chris's jaw just looked like it hit the floor. I know. <laughs> I, I I didn't think it was gonna go that way. No. Me neither. Yeah. All right. All right, Mike. You see where this is starting to go now. It seems that the collaborations are starting to to come back. Are you going the same route here, Mike? Uh, here we go. We're going with the Air Max ninety seven one Sean Watherspoon. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's crazy how you forget about pairs when you're doing this. And then it's, someone chooses the Sean's in the fourth round. <laughs> it, it's it's crazy that you round. held off this long, Mike. Yes. To be completely <laughs> honest, on my list, it was number one. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys could the game plan the, is gone. The, the late night uh, max messages that Mike sends me about uh, Watherspoon. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Yeah. Graphic. It, it, gets, it gets naughty. <laughs> Mayor, so speaking of all this, is there a strategy here? Or is, is your lineup stuff that you think is going to go quickly or stuff that you want to make sure you can snatch up? Like, what's the, what's the balance here between the two? Well, everybody else needs to, like, go off the call before I tell you my strategy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm playing this like I'm going to own these, so. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. We, we won't have to divulge the secrets here. We'll wait till we're done. What's it's your fourth round pick? <laughs> My fourth pick is the Patacords. To be fair, if you had watched the Air Maxness, did that come out yet, Hell Doggy? Um, no, it did not. Oh, well then good. Now nobody can know. But you'll see the strategy revealed there. That's why, that's why they didn't steal it from you. They didn't know that that was high on your list. My mm-hmm. top three. Yeah. Um, Ju, it's been a while. What's going on? What are we doing? All right. I'm going to go with probably... A bit of a sleeper hit, but mm. I'm gonna go with the size Air Max Light collaboration, the Easter edition. Oh my goodness! Purple violets from 2013. You got that, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I asked you to draw that shoe, would you be able to draw it? I actually owned them at one point. Okay. Ooh. I nice. apologize for testing you. <laughs> <laughs> Learn. <clears throat> All right, so John, you do have two picks in a row here, but we're going to have a small break between the fourth and fifth round. So just give us the fourth round pick for now, and then we'll get the fifth one after. Well, I have to pick it because it's here. I don't have it. I probably never will, but it's a great shoe. Para Amsterdam Air Max ones. Mm. Good pick. For the record, that was my first overall pick. If I was in this, Amsterdam's was first overall for me. Can you believe it went in round four? No, no, I cannot. I had to pick it. It's an aberration. I cannot. All right, Chris has a Chris has a little curveball for you guys now. Um, so this may shake things up a little bit. If you watch the other sneaker draft that we did, then you might have an idea of what's coming. Yeah, but, you're uh, not gonna Chris, like it. Chris, hit him. <laughs> so we're gonna ask you a little quiz question. Uh, whoever wants to answer first, just yell out uh, Air Max. How about that? And then we'll de- <laughs> determine if your uh, answer is correct. If you get this answer right. Uh, what you can do is swap your pick within any of the f- previous three rounds. So either round two, round three, round four. No first round picks will be exchanged. No, no That's first too round sacred. Picks. Yeah. That's you can pick role. someone else's shoe and swap selections with them. Okay? So uh, question number one, what year did we officially start celebrating Air Max Day? Air Max. Air Max. Oh, Ooh, John, go for I it, John. 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 First. Yeah. 2016? That is Ooh, wrong. That is you incorrect. forfeit all your first <laughs> four picks. <laughs> uh, Nick, you chimed in second. What is I'm the going right with? Answer? I'm going with 2015. That is also incorrect. Incorrect. Oh. Air Max. That's what I thought as well, actually. <laughs> Chris told me the question. Does anyone else want to take a stab at it? Air Max. Air Max. Yes. Oh. Go, go for it. Adidas boy. Yeah. 2017. No. Also Air Max. incorrect. I got it. Okay, Jew. Uh, 2014. Yes. There you go. <laughs> we were running out of years, people. Yeah, guys, like, come on. Process of elimination. I was supposed to get it wrong. <laughs> that is true. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Jew, you have won. Which sneaker would you like to swap for somebody else's? If Ooh. any, actually. If any, you don't you have to. You know. Maybe you just want to show that you knew the answer and that's it. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to stick with my selection, actually. Ooh. It's Maybe hard. Everybody's selections are very solid, but 
right. you know, but, so but might you as well. yours. You think you're going like to win mine. this. <laughs> <laughs> but mine is the best. So mine I don't want any, <laughs> I don't want any of your guys garbage. You can keep it. Classy move right there. Well done, Jew. You get a, yes. a gold star for sportsmanship. Hope, we'll see if that uh, holds up later forward. on. In the, we'll see if uh, I just screwed myself, but yeah, <laughs> let's, let's do this. Um, okay, John, with your uh, second pick in a row and first of the fifth round, what are we doing? Getting tough. I'm going to go with the AM90 Warhawks. Mm. Ooh. That would have been probably my top five as well. I love that shoe. Is it Warhawk or Warhawks? It's with an H and an O and an R and an E. H O. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <Anyways>. move along. <laughs> <laughs> Jew, with your fifth round pick, after taking home the participation award of the year, what are you doing? Um, I think one of my other favorites is the Urwa Dragons mm. Air Max ones. Nice. There's so many. When we started this, Chris was like, it's 10 rounds. I was like, is there enough? And he immediately yelled at me like, bro, <laughs> come on now. There's so many Air There's Maxes. so many. <laughs> Did I spell this right? No. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Uraba? U-R-A-W-A. U-R-A-W-A. Urawa. <laughs> yes. Um, we'll go with that one. Okay, Mayor, what are we doing here? Fifth round. I am going to go with the shoe I search for in my size every single day for mm, two years. Mm -hmm. And I failed every day. And it is the Air Max One Clark Kent's. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a great shoe. Great shoe. Anybody have a size seven or 7.5? Hit me up. <laughs> Taller. Yeah. Maybe I feel like Clark Kent is probably the only one, and I mean Superman. Like he's. <laughs> no, I asked. Oh yeah, no, because I asked Clark, and he doesn't have any. <laughs> you know, that's, this is the only place itself. where you we make dreams come true. You wanted <laughs> that shoe, you, you got it. <laughs> it's under your seat. <laughs> it's an NFT version. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It only took five rounds for an NFT reference. That's pretty. That's a that's a record, probably. That's good. Um, Wrong trend. <laughs> All right, Mike D, what are we going with in the fifth round? Uh, we're taking it back to 2004, <laughs> the Air Max 90 Dave's Quality Meats Bacon. Oh, my yeah. goodness. In the fifth round. Let's do this. Wow. That was my next oh. pick. Good job, Mike. Oh, that was John's sure. next pick. Wow. Stolen. All right, Nick, two picks in a row here. What are we doing to end off the fifth round? All right, I'm going to go. Let me make sure this is not up there yet. The Para Air Max 95s. Oh, it is not. Is that the Running Man? Can we call it the Running Man, right? Yeah, yep. That's I picked those up for anybody locally from Toronto. I picked them up from Sivu Play for $40. And I sold them for $100 a couple of years later. That's my sad story for the day. Right. <laughs> it started off really happy. And I know. It, yeah, it, it just it, took a dive. Yeah. <laughs> It was a big cliffhanger at the end, I know. <laughs> um, all right, Nick, to start off the sixth round here, what are we doing? Uh, I'm going to go with the Opium Air Max 180. Ah, yes. Wow, what a good shoe. Joel wore those today. I, maybe he's on Joel's Instagram now. Hashtag searching, yeah. Yeah, for real. <laughs> okay, very good. I feel like everyone's starting to strategize a bit more, diving deep into their lists. Yeah. A little less chatter. Yeah, for real. There was yeah. a lot of shit talking in the first two rounds, and now it's <laughs> a little it's getting bit down quiet. to it. Yeah, Calm <laughs> everyone's getting real bit. serious. Um, Mike, what are we doing here? Uh, I think it'll be the first of its silhouette in this one. It is the Nike Air Vapor Max Cactus Plant Flea Market. Oh wow! Oh. <laughs> A little Vapor Max action. Yeah, we needed some Vapor Max action. More air. Agree. Agree. Whoa. Um, Whoa. Air. What are we doing? Are we staying with Air Max ones? Can we just assume that all ten rounds are going to be Air Max ones from Air? Or it's funny you ask. I'm going with the Air Max ninety seven Silver Bullet. Oh man! Oh, Great pick. In, in the sixth, sixth round. round. <laughs> Holy God. Very nice pick. Very nice pick. Sixth round. I feel like anybody who didn't pick that shoe is kicking themselves right now. 
that's how I'm feeling right now because that was actually my next oh, uh, my next no. one. So wow. I'm furiously going through my list and um, wow. uh, that you know pick what, swap would have helped right here. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, I'll go with the para Albert Hein in oh. this case. Oh man, yes. I think you made up for it. My yeah, goodness, I think so yeah. Come back stronger. No kidding. <laughs> Love that shoe. I'm gonna misspell this. Hit like this, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks very <laughs> First <close> try. <laughs> um, John R. We're getting down to the nitty gritty now. What are we doing here in the sixth round? I'm going personal favorites the rest of the way if I can. Air Max won the six. <sighs> wow. Good pick. Great pick, John. In the sixth round, no less. Montreal says, eh. <laughs> 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 Just because you guys don't have a cool nickname doesn't mean you don't have to hate on it. Whatever. We just say our city name. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And to start off the seventh round here, John, what's it going to be? <clears throat> hmm. The Adidas Montreal. Go. Oh, too many. Too many. He is stressed. I like it. I like it too. Has it been 45 seconds? Not quite. Oh, Mike is calling the <laughs> clock. Right? <laughs> the neons, Mike. Those are neons. Come on. I'm going to go with the, we need a clock so I can pick this. Air Max One Kid Robot. Oh, uh, man. That's a good one. Wow. Wow. I saw a couple of head shakes. I feel like that yeah. was on a couple of That was a good one. There. That was yeah. a good one. Did, did good. you, did yeah, you go already know what you were going to pick, but you just oh. held it to the last yeah. second? <laughs> I went to my blue highlighter hype expensive <laughs> rare list. And it was still there. So there's a couple left on there. Blue highlighter expensive rare list. He has a segmented list. I feel like Mayor does as well of different... <laughs> Types of look at that. Oh my gosh, John. Love you to love you to bits. Um, Jew, what are we going with to start off the second seventh round for you? I'll go with the um Air Max 90 moon landing. Good pick. The fun story about that one for me that does have a happy ending was that was an outlet pickup. $110. Wow. <laughs> Bought five pairs that day. Whoa, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, and I gave them all to people for retail. Uh, like, for you real go. retail, Mayor. I didn't sell them to you, Mayor. <laughs> you did sell them to me. No, did it was I? The six. no that was the for six. resale. That was the Air Max one. The for six. retail <laughs> times five. The, the $20 of landing, retail. Everybody got for retail. Nice. Um, and nice. no one's here to deny it, so they can't. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> Mayor, what are we going with to start off the seventh round? I am going with the Air Max 90 Atmos duck camos. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there that goes. Which one? <laughs> so there's several good different on. camos. It's <laughs> a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the orange one then. Perfect. Oh, no, the black. <laughs> I have the orange ones. They're nice too, but. Maybe a 10th round pick. Once again, it's right. a full list of uh, Atmos for, for Mayor. That's very unsurprising. Uh, Mike D, what are we going with in the seventh round? We are getting low on this list here, people. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Air Max One Bread Nike ID. Oh, yeah. Mm. Bread. Well, there's, there's an actual bread. There's well, the, yeah, the Valentine's Day pair, right? Right. Mm. With the, Technically, oh. IDs are not allowed. Okay, then we'll go with the Valentine's Day one. <laughs> bread. Air Max One, bread. Air Max One, bread. Fair enough. There you go. Mike, I noticed that when you said we're getting down on the list, Mare aggressively shook her head. Of no. course. Yeah. <laughs> 50 I'm something like, picks. 40 shoes left on my list. Oh, my God. So uh, three strikes. Unread. Mare's going to stay on after everybody leaves and go 42 <laughs> rounds and everyone else. <laughs> Um, Nick, two picks in a row here. What are we doing to end off the seventh round? All right, I'm going to go with the Air Max 90 Homegrowns. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And start round eight, I'm going to go with the Air Max Burst Slim Shadies. Ooh, oh, wow. Wow. What a great shoe. Who would have thought we would have an Air Max Burst on this list? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was a sneaky pick there, Nick. It was a very sneaky pick. <laughs> Did those come out? Were those publicly released? Yep. Okay. Yep. Just had to, I knew that there, you would know. There weren't too many of them, but they were publicly released. So. Do you have a pair? I used to have a pair, and I don't really want to talk about it anymore. Fair oh. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Love those stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, he didn't tell his sad story. I told my sad story. That's the, cl- the cliff is much higher on my story, you know? <laughs> oh. it, it's true. It is true. Even just based on the pair alone, it is much higher. You gotta have him on the podcast to hear that one. Yeah, yeah, we'll have him on the podcast. We'll have a sad story podcast with Nick. Sad Angel. story I'm sure podcast. He has, I'm sure yeah. he has a full list. Should brighten your Monday. Tune yeah. into this sad story podcast. I feel like I'm probably the counterbalance to Mayor's 42 picks. Like my sad stories would be four, 42 oh, no. long in terms of like these kind of things. So that'll be the next fantasy draft. The ones that got away. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. wow. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good one, right? Yeah, that is a good one. Um, all right, Mike D, no sad stories, but what's your pick? Make sure it actually came out this time. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with the Air Max 95 CDG in the black and gray. Oh, okay. Ooh, we're going, we're going. All right. I want to jump in so bad because there's so many pairs that I want to pick, but I don't know if they're on people's lists. So I'm not going to say the names. Um, but Chris, just by looking at it without actually saying anything, is there anything that's not on there that you can't believe is not on there? One of my favorite, I, I can kind of believe because all these previous picks are quite solid. There is one pair that's really dear and close to my heart. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't make it on a list though. We'll do a excluded pair. Right. Honorary like a, mention type yes, deals. Afterward yeah. for pairs that just barely didn't make the cut. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Mayor can fill a whole podcast with pairs that did not make the cut. But uh, <laughs> what's going to make the cut in round eight for you, Mayor? Does it make good podcast if I just list Air Max? Like, <laughs> I'm going to be more hungry for it. Content is content. Oh, it is ASMR, though. It has to be yeah. ASMR. <laughs> Gotta whisper it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to get the right audience for that. <laughs> I'm not sure you want to. No, yeah, I don't. Exactly. That, that, <laughs> that audience is not the right audience anyway, so it's okay. Wow. Tell me all about it in the DMs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the Air Max One Gray Safaris, another shoe I hunt for almost every day. You're my size. Was that pair, are we referring to the one that was included on the Master Air Max One? Is it part of the, uh, I did, wasn't, this isn't a quiz, but I feel like it's on there. Well, the Safari print from the Air from another shoe is on there. Um, it's hard to tell whether it's from the Gray Safari or not. Probably yes. Chris, right. why are you laughing so aggressively? I'm laughing because you're just naming random Air Maxes that haven't been picked yet. Oh, shit. That's, that's <laughs> poor <laughs> etiquette, man. <laughs> poor draft I etiquette. Gave a, I just gave a really good one, too. Um, Jew! <laughs> what could be well, your pick? Good thing I wasn't paying attention, but uh, okay. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna dial it back a bit and then go with the... Um, op- Obsidian, the OG ones. Nice. Yeah. The solid pick. Still a couple OG uh, colorways left on yeah. board, too. Yeah. Um, John Ratner, to end off the eighth round and start the ninth round. Oh, no, wait, Chris, do we need to, to pause between these two rounds? We will pause. We will Get pause yourselves after. ready. Yes, <laughs> we will pause. Damn. John, to end off the eighth round, what are you doing? I think it's still available. Aero Max 1 Atmos Safari. Uh, the black well, pair. Is no, the, um, the regular pair. The one that came out retro a couple of years ago, with the with the fuzzy toe box. Yeah. Oh. Atmos Safari, right? Or the original. Yeah, the whatever. original is available. Yeah. Right. Oddly Atmos enough. Safari. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Damn, that's a really that's a sleeper in the eighth round. Holy crap. <laughs> I took a gamble and it did not pay off. <laughs> so see, you didn't even divulge your strategy and still it was foiled. Look at that. You should have just <laughs> so once um, again, yeah, Chris, we will do a slight pause. We're going to have another quiz question. Same rules, but this time we're taking it to the streets. Um, you're allowed to, again, swap picks with someone for the – Fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth round this time, right? Now, here is the question. Again, yell out Air Max if you've got it. What building is said to have inspired Tinker Hatfield's... Air Max Pompidou Center in Paris. 
<laughs> nice <laughs> button. <laughs> All right, John, are you going to keep your picks or do you see something on the board you want to steal? Ooh, I want to steal something, but I got to give something up, right? That's you correct. have to swap your pick. Yeah. Swap your choice. That's a tough part. Okay, Mike D, I'm going to steal your bacons. I'll give you. Oh, no, it has to be six, seven, eight, right? Five, six, uh, seven, five, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Oh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> I'll give you something good back. I'll give you the kid robots. It. I'm going to take the oh, bacon. Oh, wow. Kid robots. No, you have to. Wait. That's, okay. I think we can allow that. Yeah, right, oh, right, right, right. Right. Yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. No, no. I... It's good. It's good. No, okay. you're good. Okay. Sorry, Mike. That's a good trade. Like, <laughs> now it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I picked, I picked it. I mean, I didn't have to. I could have been nice like you, but no. That's I appreciate it. I thought for sure somebody's going to take my Clark Kent. So it would only be fitting that my, like, all-time grail gets sniped. Well, I figured you wouldn't mind the safaris, but and I was eyeing those, but I actually sold my pair, so that would be wrong. <laughs> The thought that is going into all of this is just far beyond what it's worth. I love you guys. <laughs> all right, John, to start off the ninth round, what are we doing? Okay, definitely going with the favorite here. Air Max 1, Fly Knit Red. Wow. Couldn't Fly help it. Fly Knit, nice. <clears throat> and Jew Berry, your ninth round pick. I'm going to go with the uh, Clot Kiss of Death. Oh, yes. Nice. Which one? Ooh. <laughs> the first one or the second one? Mare. The, the <laughs> orange or the blue? All the and it's cool me. I'll, I'll go with the first one because I can't choose between the two. Mare. That's orange, right? Technicality. Yeah, orange. <laughs> the technicality. The one well, that just okay. released, correct? <laughs> yes, yes. Curious. <laughs> You're not just curious, Mayor. We we know what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta move some things on my spreadsheet. <laughs> I want the old bacons. I want the new ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mayor. Surprise us. What's going with your? I think your you'll be surprised. Round? I'm picking my favorite athlete. Has a shoe. I don't have it. It's the Air Max 97 Off White Serena's. Ooh, Ooh great, great choice. Like that. Great choice. Like that. That's a good one. You don't have those? <laughs> I knew you didn't have them. I just wanted to make you say it again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they could be not off white and they'd still be cool. Welcome. I thought we were yeah. friends. <laughs> so evil. Man. Uh, no, one, no one's friends during the draft. After the draft only. <laughs> We're not drafting. It doesn't matter. Mayor, it's con technicality. Content. It's called content mayor. <laughs> We didn't give you guys pick swaps to be nice. We, we, need, we need animosity here. Uh, Mike, give me some animosity. What are you choosing? All right. Animosity on the way. The Nike Air Max 1 Master. He was listening. <laughs> was the friends and family available to non-friends and family? No. no. Well, not the white one. I want the black one. Yeah. The, the white one was only available to... Masters of Fancy. Air, I think is what they called it. Oh, yeah, that was cool. I don't know how you get that on your resume, but congrats to the people. I wasn't available to record that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, for the ninth round, what are we doing here? All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling guilty because I haven't picked an Air Max <laughs> one, so I'm going to pick the, gra the Grand oh, Piano God. Air Max ones. <clears throat> mm. I'm going to be not honest. I don't know what I'm that looks have like. To, yeah, pull up the Google <laughs> machine for that one. <laughs> no idea. Mayor? <laughs> yeah, Mayor, can you give us the history and the state of that pair? I don't actually have that pair. But How many? It kind of looks, it, it looks like the kid robots, but like a little more white. Like white, black, and pink. How, many, P, how many PSIs in the, that air bubble? <laughs> it's got like patent, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Patent and like, I think it had like gold either laces or like logos or something too. And the liner's pink. Yep. Oh, okay. Nick, I do have to say how impressive it is that you went nine rounds without picking an Air Max one. I think that deserves a gold star as well. That's <laughs> kind of incredible. It's because Mare picked them all. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there was definitely some that were on my list that were chosen, you know, that just couldn't be chosen. So, right. All right. I also just completely forgot some. <laughs> <laughs>
the preparedness levels varied for this uh, draft, we can see. Um, all right, Nick, the last pick for you in the first inaugural second fantasy sneaker draft Air Max edition. What are you going with? All right, I'm going to go with the Air Max 95 stash colorway. Ooh, great 10th round pick. Wow. Very, very, very good. Wow. Uh, Mike D, no pressure, but to round out your roster, what are we doing? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> the, stress, um, the stress is real. How many do you have left, Mara? Because I have three. <laughs> <laughs> like 20 left. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Um, I think I'm going to go with the uh, Air Max 95 Freddy Kruegers. Oh, wow. Big fan of that shoe. Great shoe. That was last year or the year yes, before? Yes, 2020. Yeah. Mayor, I'm sorry to tell you, but you only have one more pair only to one. select. What are we going to go out with a bang for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm going with, you know, I like gimmicks. You know, I like like extra stuff on my shoes. You know, I like it to be a little bit loud. Look at everything I picked. I am picking the Air Max 95 oh. Atmos Animal White. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe the pair I thought it was was not selected by you, Mayor. We're going to have a talk after. <laughs> but I can't I can't say it yet. I think it oh my god. All right, Ju, what are we going with in the 10th round to round out your tapestry? Oh, I know it. <laughs> well, hoping it'll bring me luck. I'm going to go with the Pata Lucky Green. Oh. You yeah. What what shoe is that? Air Max 1. 1. 1. Of course. You just that. testing you guys. Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> look at this spreadsheet here. This board is stacked. Insane. It is. All right. Uh, no pressure, but you have the first overall and you have the last overall. Round us out here, buddy. Come on, John. I'm kind of surprised Nick didn't pick it, but probably because it's not allowed. We'll see. Nike Air Force Max. Fab Five. We allowing that one? Air Force Max. I don't even know what that shoe is. The basketball shoes. So. Oh, I'm gonna say Max not allowed. It's got the name Max. No, that doesn't. Chris, what are you saying? Basketball. I think it's shoes. the force that's maximized, and not yes. the air. <laughs> I don't know. I'm taking a okay. stab at this, but uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a basketball shoe. Will uh, right. disqualify basketball shoes? I remember hearing that in the rules. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. John is not happy. <laughs> well, I have a few others. I just I'm going to take it up with the committee. Yeah, for real. Diversity <laughs> sake, you guys don't want any diversity. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, that was it. I mean, I need my full time, I think, here. Oh, my God. You want me to send you my list in the chat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> will, it, will it fit or will you have to send it separately? <laughs> See, <laughs> just, <laughs> just unzip it. <laughs> Lay sent, it a it file. Lay sent it to me. I have your list already. <laughs> <laughs> I have all your lists. Got someone on the inside. I have everyone's. I'm going to go with the Air Max One Chilies. Oh, right. yes. Yeah. It's a great colorway. <clears throat> Before Wait, we say anything. It's Chilies like oh. what? Like Chile or Chilies? Chili. Like the pepper. Right. Yeah, like the That's what I thought. <laughs> That's still not like <laughs> the pepper, though. <laughs> what? You're French. So it's okay. Um, That's not right? In English, we use I-E I. sometimes. Oh, yeah. for real? I know. It's a weird language. Um, I'm, I, still, I'm sticking with this. Screw you, Toronto. <laughs> yeah, Toronto created English. You're correct. Uh, Chris, give me, give me a pair that you're surprised did not make the list before I yell about well, a pair. Well, one of my favorites is the Air Max 90 uh, Tiger, Tiger Camo. Yep, at most. Yeah, I love that pair. Leather yeah. guts. Very Wore it nice. yesterday. It's so good. Yeah, so good. I, that's it. I saw you wearing them, and I was like, what's up? <laughs> With the white laces? Not good enough. White laces. <laughs> I cannot believe that nobody chose the Air Max 1 Susans. They're on my oh, list. That's a good one. And right. I really thought that Mayor was going to choose them because I thought that we had a mutual understanding that those are one of the best Air Maxes They're ever. The best. Are, are you a fan of the, the, the cartoon? The Never seen the movie. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> Never. These are so weird. Like everything uh -huh. about them is weird. I love them. Special yeah. packaging, like right. details, quality. Every... 
you guys are crazy. Um, <laughs> anybody, anybody else in the chat, anything that just kind of barely made it off of or didn't make it on the board for you guys? Mayor, I know Surprise. you have a couple. Let's let others go first. Sorry, yeah, Ju, what was yours? Ju, go ahead. I only have one, so you'll have plenty of time. It was, it's just the Atmos Curry that uh, I'm surprised oh, yeah. didn't make the list. Yeah. Right. Yes. It's another great colorway. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought of another one. Go ahead, Mayor. <laughs> I would have picked the um, size What the Safaris, mm. which I think is a great shoe. Do you um, find that there's too much Safari on the board, though? Never too much safari. Right, okay. Air Max. <laughs> Just checking. You see all the Atmos on her list, right? There's no such thing. As I uh, understand, safari. yes. <laughs> um, Mike, anything for you that just barely didn't make the list? You have a couple picks on your sheet left, I think. I, uh, yeah, like one. Um, <laughs> uh, I was going to throw a little bit of a curveball and go with the Nike Air Griffey Max. Mm. It's a Nike right. Air Griffey Max? I think it's Still the Griffey Max, that's right? being maximized. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, never mind. Zero John, on the list right now, everyone. <laughs> John's just waiting John, for them. Yeah. <laughs> Should have like let him include it. Let him. Let him. <laughs> um, let us know down below in the comments if you think we should have allowed the Griffey and uh, the Air the Force. Air Force Max. Max. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is there anyone's time? picks that you thought that wow that shoe should have come in way earlier? Hmm. Amsterdam. I know. Amsterdam. 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 True. Silver bullet. Silver yeah. bullet. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a good one. I mean, the bacons. I, I'm surprised it went fifth round. Yeah, when especially because they're coming back out. Exactly, I thought they were yeah. going to be on everybody's yeah. mind. Yeah, well, sure. I think the hype's well, down because it's. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. If you guys haven't noticed, the actual board is a bacon color. Oh, ah, it is. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude, by the way, that. this uh, fantasy sneaker draft was sponsored by Nike Sportswear. Please check out <laughs> Nike Sportswear on Instagram at Nike Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Only Not one really. of us is cashing those checks. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that the Albert Hines weren't in the first round. Like that's a that shoe too. Like yeah, if anybody knows sneakers and sees somebody with that shoe, it's like instant like drop Your head off, falls right? off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like just <laughs> maybe it's because n- no one has them or no one that you know has them, and so they kind of like fall off. You know, you don't never imagine yeah. you owning them, right? Mm-hmm. Meredith doesn't have it, then they don't exist. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. It's a myth. True. Right. Did anyone choose the, the newer Air Max One Para? I don't know because that was uh, next on my list. Right. With it, the no, polka dots and it. the stripes? No. I'm just looking. I would have obviously preferred the friends and family, but mm. oh yeah. But I think that no no swoosh. Swoosh. <laughs> I had the Air Max 90 Hyperfuse Independence Days, the Navy and the Reds. I don't yeah, think I'm surprised mm. those weren't on there somewhere. The Reds. Yeah. Yeah. It was on my list. Yeah. And the yellow midsole, the Air Max Day, Air Max Ones. I thought someone would pick that as a person. Ah, yeah. That was on, that what are we doing, list. people? Oh, yeah. The Air Max Day. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, <laughs> we all did. Uh, that was a great game, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and taking the time. Please, if you will, tell the people where they can find you on the socials. And if you have any special projects coming up, please let the people know as well. Let's start off with uh, Mike. Uh, you can get me at on air with Mike D or at the sneaker podcast. Whoop. Uh, John. You can find me at heads ain't ready on Instagram or sneaker dads is the podcast. Jew. Find me on Jewberry MCL on Instagram. And uh, Mayor. You can find me at Hardy underscore girl on Instagram and watch the WNBA new season starting this summer. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Nice. And uh, Nick. Uh, you can find me at Nick Ingball on Instagram or at Sneaker History and at South by Sneakers. We have an event coming up with uh, a bunch of people that you'll see here and a ton of other people from the sneaker community just talking about sneakers and what they do. So Several other more us. famous people. So don't only... <laughs> there, it is, there is broader horizons. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, and you can download and listen to the Sneaker Podcast and True to Size <laughs> on anywhere podcasts are broadcast. Be sure to follow us at The Sneaker Podcast and myself at Christopher.Chu. Uh, Lawrence, where can people find you? You can find me at L Doggy Styles on Instagram, Woof, or you can find me at Canada Got Soul on Instagram and on the True to Size podcast every Saturday morning at 5 a.m. Join us next time for another exciting first inaugural sneaker draft. One love, all the sneakers. Peace. <laughs>